to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and today I am coming from you from the historic center of Ghent. In the historic center you will find the Gravenstein, which translates into the Earl's Keep or the, the Count's Castle if you like. But just down from that castle you will find a new concept called Proof. And Proof is a liquor store, annex bar, annex try before you buy concept. And it's a very funny thing because you can come in here and simply have a drink or you can select one of these beautiful bottles. This is why I'm one of the regulars here. If you, if you come in here, you come in here with a smile and you leave with a smile. But the good thing about Proof is you can try before you buy. All these bottles that you can buy in the shop here, you can also try them. They are open so you can try a drink at the bar and then decide what you want to buy. And even if you do not want to buy anything, that's fine. And if you don't want to buy a full bottle, that's fine too. Proof offers samples of these bottles 5 centiliters, 10, 20, so what's not to like? So whenever you visit the historic center of Ghent, be sure, after the Gravenstein, to come down here to Proof and uh, try some of their liquors. You can even try a flight, say for example, you can try one of these. They have these little menus in which they offer some flights, such as an Irish flight, in which you can try some Irish whiskey with a cheese platter, whatever. All sorts of things, and it's not just whiskey, as you can see behind me, we've got whiskey, but also mezcal, gin, rum, grappa, wine, you name it, Proof has got it, and that is why I love coming here. But, I did not come here to visit the Gravestein, nor commercialize Proof, even though they are close friends of mine, but I'm here to talk to you about whiskey, and today we're going to Sweden, and we're going to try two whiskies from Magmira. But, we're not going to do that here, because the shop will open in just a few minutes, they have a beautiful sun-filled terrace. So that's where we're going for the Macmira tasting head to head. Like I said, at the back of the shop, they have this beautiful terrace, the sun is shining, what's not to like? But like I said, I want to talk to you about Macmira, the, uh, the Swedish distillery. Now, they actually have two working distilleries. They started as a craft distillery many years ago, but now they've built this huge tower, a very green and modern distillery. And in this tower, they make the best use they can of gravity. So production starts at the top and then comes down all the way back to the filling station two working distilleries and the second one is a hyper modern gravity, gravity system like I said and Magmira even has a village where you can do shopping, dining, visiting, tasting, whatever you like. And what we are going to try today is two whiskies from uh, Magmira. We have on the one hand the Svensk Ek, which simply translates into Swedish oak which already tells us a little bit about maturation and on the, on the other hand we've got ooh, the very last bit of the Magmira Winterrock and Winterrock translates into winter's smoke. So it's not really a head-to-head, -head, but just two tastings in one, because they are not similar at all. The only thing they have in common is that they are both from the uh, ultra-modern Swedish distillery Magmira. We will start out with the Svensk Ek, which is bottled at 46.1% ABV, and it is a, uh, uh, like I said, Swedish oak, that's what it means. So the whiskey matured on oak trees that grow on the island of Fisingso. I'm not sure if I, if I pronounce that correctly, but th those trees were actually once used by the, uh, for shipbuilding by the Swedish Navy. But today, maybe even the Vikings, who knows, but today they use it for whiskey maturation. On the other hand, we've got this one, which is the Winterok, and like I said, that means winter's smoke. That already tells us a little bit about the fact that this is going to be a PT expression. A PT McMira, but with a twist, because it matured on oak casks that were previously filled with or infused with Scottish strong ale. So that's why the uh, people at McMira call this the smoky soul for beer lovers. So two completely different McMiras. This one is also bottled at 46.1%. So both of them, not cask strength, they are actually commercially cut, as that is uh, called, to 46.1%. Let us start with the Svensk Ek. It's got a beautiful, full golden color on the nose. Wow. 
Well, this is fresh and fruity with mostly a grooms. Uh, I get some lemon in there, some grapefruit, some lime. But there's also a lot of sweet honey and some sweet and sour apples. It's quite summery. I even get a hint of white bread. Very nice indeed. On the palate then. Mm. It's creamy, but rather feisty as well. I get some pepper. So it's got a little bit of a prickle. Some ginger in there, but then I get this, this sweet fruit, apples and agrums. And on the finish, The finish is rather short and, and on more of the same. This is a, a fairly simple but a very nice whiskey from McMira. This in my book would be a Swedish aperitif. But on to the Winter Rock, our second whiskey from McMira. Like I said, uh, matured on oak casks that were recent that were previously infused with Scottish strong ale. So for the beer lovers among us, it's got this old golden colour. Clings to the glass, I like that a lot on the nose. Well, there is a bit of smoke, but there is definitely a lot of oak. I get freshly sued salt, salt planks, wood shavings, but also yellow apples and some juicy pears, some butter, some tobacco leaves. This is sweet and dark, if you know what I mean. I get some butterscotch and some chocolate. I have to be honest, I don't get any beer though. Maybe on the palate. Mmm. Nice, very creamy, almost waxy. It's sweet and sour and salty, it's got everything. Again, sweet as in, as in vanilla and some toffee. Sour as in, as in citrus fruit and, and, and salty. I don't even know where that comes from. I get some ginger, some pepper, some aniseed even for a second, but only for a second. And finally, it also reminds me a little bit about, you remember the Glenmorangie Signet that was made with roasted chocolatey barley? It reminds me just a bit of that. So it does have a chocolatey side in there as well. And on the finish, the finish is wonderfully long, very spicy and warming. It's got this sweet death at the end. Well, I've only tried around 10 of the uh, Macmira offerings so far. And to be completely honest, this is clearly my favorite. The uh, uh, Winterok, Winter's Smoke. This is my favorite Macmira so far. But they have quite a few. They've got the Svenska Rock, they've got the Blomster Tea. They've got a whole panoply. So be sure when next you visit a, uh, a whiskey festival, be sure to check out the stand, the booth that has Macmira on hand because this Swedish whiskey is very nice indeed. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the all be with you. Bye-bye.